1,200 pound spacecraft blasted off from Cape Canaveral, Florida. 18 hours ago, it landed on the planet Mars. You, me, and 60,000 of your fellow students across the country, along with astro-scientists and engineers from the Jet Propulsion Lab, are going to be the first to see what it sees, and to chronicle an extraordinary voyage of an unmanned ship called Galileo 5. Galileo 5. Yes, sir? Galileo 5. Yes, indeed. Mercury, Apollo, Atlantis, the sea of tranquility, the ocean of storms. Galileo 5. Say the name. Galileo 5. You didn't say it right. <laughs> say it again. Galileo 5. This alien clan this alien creature. They took a human performance with no diminishment whatsoever, and then they added to it. First you build the machine, then it tells you what it's for. A machine is only a kind of magnet for attracting use. That's why they say things are useful, because they're full of the use that chose them to perform itself. That isn't how science works. Buy it, use it, break it, fix it. As you approach human, our attraction to the character goes down. At the last second, just when you get to a true human look, it goes back up. Trash it, change it, nail, upgrade it. On the far side of that dip is the response curve, which is called the uncanny valley. We need it to get on the opposite side, where we believe. Snap it, work it. Quick, erase it. We don't have to necessarily believe that it is 100% photo real. And we don't necessarily have to believe they actually exist. But we have to believe in them as emotional creatures. What if the blue fairy isn't real at all? What if she's magic? The supernatural is the hidden web that unites the universe, and only humans believe what cannot be seen or measured. It is that oddness that separates our species. Write it, cut it, paste it, save it. Or what if the blue fairy is an electronic parasite that has arisen to hold the minds of artificial intelligence? They hate us, you know. The humans. Load it, check it, quick, rewrite it. Are they away? We've just made the jump in the hyperspace. Plug it, play it, burn it, rip it. Or here, I am sitting in a tin can, far above the world. Planet Earth is blue, and there's nothing I can do. Fire feels warm, burns bright. Death is inevitable. Blues and greens appear. This is Major Tom to ground control. Ground control to Major Tom. Committing countdown engines on. I'm Checking the ship. I'm stepping through the door. Ten. And I'm floating. Nine. In the most peculiar way. And the Eight. stars. The stars look very different today. Seven. I started typing that yesterday and I did not finish. Six. I, I did not mean to send that. My phone keeps messing up. There's, there's something wrong. Your circuit's dead. Far, far above the moon. True. May God's love be with you. spacecraft blasted off from Cape Canaveral, Florida. 18 hours ago, it landed on the planet Mars. You, me, and 60,000 of your fellow students across the country, along with astro-scientists and engineers from the Jet Propulsion Lab, are going to be the first to see what it sees, and to chronicle an extraordinary voyage of an unmanned ship called Galileo 5. Galileo 5. Yes. Galileo 5. Yes, indeed.